I'm Chris, and today we're going to talk about the common garter snake. Let's do this real quick. I believe this species here is the eastern ribbon snake. You can call it a garter snake, garter snake, garden snake, whatever you want to call it. I'm sure you've seen it out there in your yard or in the woods many times before. And usually they're not that aggressive. They tend to go the other direction. They're not like the water snakes that will coil up and strike at you. The only time these things get aggressive and they might strike at you is if they are actually kind of cornered or if you're trying to pick them up or something like that. And believe it or not, these things are venomous. It's just they don't really have the fangs or anything like that. Their teeth can't really get to us and the venom isn't really anything that's going to bother us. But that was just recently discovered not that long ago as far as I understand. And I never knew that about these things. Now it seems to be that this time of year when the sun's nice and shining on this one bank behind my house, these snakes tend to come out of the ground. They come out of their, out of their den. And the males usually come out first and they're trying to get ready for the females when they decide to come out. And the males will often produce a scent, a male scent, and all the other snakes kind of follow. But there's some males that produce a female scent, and they do this for the sole purpose of trying to trick all the other males into quote-unquote mating with them. And they're going to do this for the purpose of stealing the other male's heat. So when they're in this little mating ball, they're stealing the other male's heat so they can become more active, so they can have a better chance of actually mating with the females. I mean, that's kind of sneaky and interesting to know, but it's also kind of cool. And when they're actually in a real mating ball, there could be up to 25 males per one female in that mating ball. Now, these snakes also produce a little bit of like a musty secretion type deal uh, when they feel threatened. Like if you pick them up, you might notice it uh, down at their lower end, they're secreting something and they might stink a little bit. That's kind of a defense mechanism for them to kind of say, hey, I'm not worth eating. Who knows how well it works. A very interesting fact that I did not know is that these snakes give live birth. They don't lay eggs, they actually give live birth. That's pretty cool. I mean, like any other snake, they like to bask in the sun to regulate their body temperature. Usually these snakes like to feed on amphibious creatures, or some of the smaller snakes might feed on slugs, worms, ants, crickets, that kind of diet. Otherwise, it might be like frogs and tadpoles. And you're gonna find these snakes more so uh, in the brush or in the grass. It's pretty close to water. You don't normally find these snakes in the water, but they will retreat to the water if they feel threatened or something like that. Now, like I said, this time of year, the snakes kind of act just a little bit different. I was actually filming a couple other videos, and before I knew it, when I had my little fire going, there were snakes kind of slithering down the hill. You could hear them going through the leaves and stuff, and they were like circling around my camp. And it was kind of interesting because they don't normally do this. So I went to the one spot where I know they emerge from their den every year. And sure enough, you could see a couple snakes kind of slither down the hill. So I went and grabbed my camera, went down the hill, and started, started to uh, film a couple of these snakes. And then I found the spot where they were coming out of the ground. And I kind of sat there for a little bit, hoping to film them a little bit more. And sure enough, I mean, like maybe five, ten minutes later, the snakes started slithering around me. I mean, like within inches from me. And they're all congregating around this little hole in the ground where there was one large snake in there. I don't know if that was a male snake or a female snake. I'm not too sure. But they all started going around this one point that was essentially two feet away from me. So for them to do that, you know it's a really powerful time for them where they're risking predators out there. And they're going against their normal instinct that they would have throughout the year to go ahead and mate. I mean, that, that, there's something to be said there, you know what I mean? I thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, be sure to click that like button. It really helps me out. And if you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and share this video with your friends, and don't forget to check out some of my other videos. I thank you guys so much.